Hi, and welcome to the Dungeons and Randomness podcast slash stream. The best place to witness dungeons and randomness. Before we get started, if you'd like to support us, please check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash d-a-n-d-r. Or, if that's a bit forward for you, you can always check out our website at dandrpodcast.com. While you're there, you can locate all of our socials, including our Twitter, at D-A-N-D-R Podcast, our Facebook, Dungeons and Randomness, and our Instagram, Dungeons and Randomness Podcast. Hmm. I think also you can look a little bit further onto that website and you can find our wiki where you can see more about the past, the land, the future. You can see, well, maybe not the future. You're going to have to watch for that. Uh, our t-shirt store where who knows what new surprises will come up each and every week or not quite that frequently. And in the meantime, before we start, let's talk about what happened last episode. Last time, we all got together. That's about it so far. Is this awkward enough? That's it. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not cutting. Not cutting yet? anything. Okay. I'm officially in love because <laughs> uh, there's a feature and I have been waiting for this all my life uh, mm -hmm. where let's say I wrote something in here. Let's say uh, right in. Okay. Boom. I got my you can't can't see that. I don't know. Whatever. So no. you got you got your you got your ah, there we go. There you go. Ryan. Okay. So mm -hmm. I select it. And then if you tap on it and hit convert, convert it into text and it automatically. Oh. That's fucking wizardry. And I didn't know I needed that my entire life. So <gasps> now let me delete Ryan. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's do that. Thing where we go around the table and introduce ourselves. I'm Jason. I'm the game master. Going around the table, starting with Xavier. Hello, I'm Xavier, and I play Zozo, the Black Dragonborn, whose powers are yet to be revealed. And Mandy. 
Hi guys, this is Mandy, and I play Clover, the red dragonborn, not a shaman. Uh, and Ryan H. Oh, hi. Uh, sorry, my name is Ryan. Uh, I will today be playing Olmo, the red dragonborn, beefy boy. And Ryan G. That hey, makes you sound like Dr. I'm Seuss characters. I haven't found does. a good way it to do really this It really does. Yet. I mean, I, who knows? Whatever. Thing two. Yeah, just just point <laughs> and we'll guess, right? Because we still can't tell which way you're pointing at. So right. We'll, That's we'll the, figure it out. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. just going to go. But it's just, like, just remember Ryan, this. And then you just... made this confusing. Yeah, you know, it seems like a really good idea back in, like, November. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Look, here's the thing. I'm a union guy. I'm always going to go to seniority. And uh, he's been around uh, the podcast longer than I have, so I'm going to defer. You do get paid more than him, though, so, like, it's kind of Damn up it. in That's, the air. Like, well, you get paid? It's the certifications. <laughs> yeah. Certifications. Yeah. I can only get a free shirt every five years, so that, that's Well, okay. Um, he's a union guy. a free guy. shirt? <laughs> thank you. Should have bargained better. Thank you uh, to everybody out there supporting us. Uh, we have, uh, we got, like, more hits on YouTube than we've ever gotten, which means we pulled in. A tasty dollar twenty-seven, thanks to AdSense, yeah. and that's divvied up between the entire cast. Yes, Heck I'm pretty yeah. awesome, uh, so you can expect that check in the mail as soon as we, we... Can get one of those bubble gums. That's. <laughs> I think you're overestimating how much that is split. Nineteen ways. Nope. Soon. <laughs> soon we'll yeah. get. I'm gonna get that bubble gum. It's gonna be delicious. I hate. <clears throat> so if you're it's gonna be amazing. if you're watching us on youtube hit that subscribe button and the bell and then if you're watching us on uh twitch give us a little follow give us a little you know so hey i'm ryan i play crib oh, yeah. the oh, dragon yeah. shaman lesser ryan didn't <laughs> tag in shit <laughs> We just went on the tangent. That's just our Stick story. Stick up for yourself, you loser. Jesus. No, that's, just, it's... I was wondering how long it was going to go. And then I was like, okay, I, I got I to gotta pull it at some point, right? That would be so amazing if I was getting ready to wrap up. And I'm Ryan. Like, it's just, like two hours in. Like, just... No, I'm, I, can't, I can't think that far ahead. But, but the, the listeners and the, and the people, well, particularly the people watching this will see me staring at the camera, looking at you guys. Staring at the camera, looking at you guys. So that they'll know. They, they Look, know. man, I. They love me still. Maybe. I was done the intros as soon as it's like, yeah, yeah. Anyway, moving on like that. That's dead to me. That that was like a vestigial <laughs> tail, like gone. That's how my brain operates. It's, it's part of the danger. You already said Ryan. And exactly. Yeah, the that's... Ryan part is complete. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so last time, uh, as was recapped so beautifully you guys did meet up and you had just met clover you're hanging out in the little town of white hedge and you are in a bar now the problem is so far you found out that clover is not to generalize a bit of a klutz um, what? and definitely don't talk about my cousin like definitely that. has a reputation for breaking things uh Two, you met a pack of dwarves and their leader, at least. They're Seems nothing. like a real, yeah, real asshat, though. Like, just kind of a, you know. And then there were several small, like, explosions outside. Right. <laughs> That's the second time <laughs> Xavier's been reminded of those explosions. I've been thinking about those explosions all week. <laughs> <laughs> What could they be? I don't know. I think we should pick up there, though. What do you guys want to do about these small explosions? Uh, I guess. So how 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 did they pick up? We were sitting at that table, and they seemed to come from outside the, the place? Yeah, definitely. So this was like... Um, let me see if I can kind of encapsulate this noise. So it's... It doesn't sound like uh, it, it doesn't sound like bombs going off or anything like that. It's definitely not that big. That's why I emphasize the small. So think of it like um, string of firecrackers. Uh, bigger than that, but you're on the right track, definitely. Like I'm trying to think of something in between. Well, string of big firecrackers. String of big fire. Yes, that is it. Yeah. Uh, oh, someone yeah. just yeah, like, uh, tied on Halloween night. Yeah. Someone just tied dynamite together, stick by stick, and then just lit them. So like it's yeah. 
those are that's big that's yeah, that's what mischief night is right when you just blow up someone's house like that's what <laughs> oh that's that escalated those, quickly those oh, mischievous what? kids they <laughs> where, oh. okay you promised you wouldn't knock me about that Jason. Uh, did, do you guys have mischief night where you are like you did, is like is that a thing night? mischief night you've never heard no. of that so like no. okay october 30th i mean i watched the crow I know. <laughs> so october 30th uh is is mischief night where people like tp like toilet yeah, they, they throw a toilet paper around your trees or bushes or something and they, they and then in my neighborhood that was the excuse to loot and destroy so like aha mischief night we smashed your car windshield in with this baseball bat that legit happened so it's like oh yeah mischief night and the cops couldn't keep up with everything and people knew that so there just kind of was no penalty yeah, it, it, yeah no yeah. but i moved yeah. so it's great that has not happened Good. here <laughs> yeah. but yeah that's not a thing well, guys out there in the chat I mean, it, it listening send us an email is it mischief night a thing where you are i've lived in a lot of different places and i have never heard of that never never heard never. of mischief night no. okay no. well I'm, People fired it, up some some fireworks on Halloween night when I was in Vancouver, but that's it. He, we yeah. don't even do that here. We just wait for the candy. Yeah. I feel like this is one of those like that's not totally normal, guys. And like it's like oh no, no I just live in a really bad. One hundred percent one of those, Jason. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. It's it, you heard about like uh, and they put that in uh, nineteen ninety era movie The Crow. There they had Devil's Night where they just set the city on fire right around then. But uh, too far. Which really seems like, yeah, just, oh, I mean, I would say that breaking people's car windows is too far, but that's super too far, 100%. You, you guys don't have the purge the day before Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> We're working our way up to that in America, Xavier, don't yeah, worry. Yeah, well, yeah, well. That happens right after Valentine's Day, right? That, that's... Yeah, no shit. So, I think the newest purge movie was, it's like people are like, well, we got to get to Canada. Like, it's like, that's a... That, so yeah. get ready. You're going to get some visitors from the cast eventually. The, you and James. They'll oh, hey, have it up there. It'll just be Lubberge. They're driving big truck, big truck <laughs> That's here. true. They're already Lubberge. there. We've had some visits. <laughs> uh, um, so so yeah, anyways, uh, Crave will put down his drink <laughs> and go, what the hell? And stand up and walk outside. Kind of like a yeah, someone who's a fast walk. Burks up to. <laughs> yeah, like, let's go check oh. it out. Omo, oh, we'll Go. Oh, right. Uh, do you want to get on my back for this okay, one? Okay, sure. All right. Here, hop around. All he right, let's go. clambers onto his back like a backpack, but that doesn't yeah. eat him. Like, the air for a second, sure. I thought Very Clover important. was still on Omo. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. just <laughs> sitting my on his was... back while we're at a table with a perfectly no, was... good chair that's just not being used right now. Was on his lap and then it's like, let's go. And then clambers on. Yeah. Yeah. Can we go back to the it's like a backpack that doesn't eat him? What kind of backpacks are like, you? Yeah, what? Like um <laughs> Reese character, right? Wasn't wasn't Oh, yeah. that's okay, you're referencing something that was in behind the scenes, something that oh. our Patreon oh, yeah. listeners get to listen uh, to and view uh every week. So Yeah, so that was a horrible that's, that's good. A, that's good shilling, Mandy. Mm, Clover is a much kinder backpack that won't open up and <laughs> <What's he doing? laughs> If, I shan't be consumed. if that's not the first line in your character description, I'll be upset. Like, <laughs> Clover is a much kinder backpack. <laughs> so heading outside, you're going to see uh, a couple of kids running around, right? And uh, these are these are dwarven children. And uh, looking around, you're going to kind of like you're going to kind of notice something. There is an influx of dwarves in the area. Like, it's kind of, it's like, wait, that's interesting. And um, they are setting off small explosives, but th what they're doing is <clears throat> they're kind of, uh, they're kind of packing in uh, these tubes with, uh, with uh, this powder. And it's basically like a tiny firework, like a boom. There's a lot more boom than there is sparklies. But I don't think they care. So there's little divots in the ground. Like they're making new potholes in the dirt, like dirt roads. And eventually someone's going to be like, okay, stop that. Like it's like there's going to be like a guard or something. It's like, knock it off. Like, stop it. But um, 
Does any does anyone happen to know the date? Uh, is the question I was going to ask, but I think that's unfair considering I know you don't. <laughs> okay, you never told us. <laughs> also in the Patreon behind yeah, the scenes content. Uh, guys, it is the 28th of the month of Amada, which means it's Beric Rundar. Ooh, look at you with your... Oh, that's good stuff. There were small explosives. There were Got small it. explosives. It is a dwarven holiday, guys. It's the day that the dwarves celebrate uh, taking over Stone Sunder Mountain and ejecting those those furry ne'er-do-wells the minotaur from their homeland they they celebrate it so imagine a culture that celebrates stealing the native land of somebody every year like they're just like yay we did it <laughs> imagine, well, imagine, that. imagine that imagine it uh and they they, they it's like they're really proud like they're it's like yeah fuck them but like there's still minotaur out there they're just like kind of displaced. Like they have a home, but like it's not a good one. It's not really for them, you know? Crib will let out a sigh and just tur slowly turn it around and walk back inside. He's not gonna say anything about it. But he'll 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 turn and walk back inside. Like almost like presenting himself like these damn kids. <laughs> but not saying it. Hey, 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 cousin. If you want me to see if I can get one of them to let you blow up one of those things. And uh, Clover has been looking at the... It, to her, it looks fun. So she's like, oh, Will you, cousin? Heck yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, excuse me. Uh, oh, no, they blew up that one. Hold on. <laughs> next guy. Uh, uh, hey, uh, nope, that one blew up. Uh, hey. Can, can my cousin blow up one of those, please? Hello? I would say this: that you're approaching a child, let's say. Sure. <clears throat> and this kid is like, let's say, like the equivalent of a 13-year-old for dwarves, right? So kind of a little snotty, like a little, like, little edgelord kid. <clears throat> uh, beard hasn't come in yet, so it's just stubble. Uh, big bushy eyebrows, though. So, uh, this kid is gonna essentially be like, I guess, but you have to hit it on this fence post. I can do that. I have, I have to what on the fence post? You, you you have to throw something like a like a hand axe or something and hit it to set it off. Oh. Um, we can try at least. That you sounds try? awesome. Yes. All right, cool. Hell yeah, we want to try that. <laughs> so none of you have seen one of these go off yet, but like you're, you know, it's it's a fairly large explosion. So there is, <clears throat> he's going to, uh, essentially it's this, it's a tube about yay big. So like, uh, like a, like a good, like four inch, like radius, something like that, kind of like planting it on top of this wooden, uh, this wooden fence. So like one of the, uh, just like one of the, one of the, the, the spokes there and kind of packing this, uh, explosive together. And what it is, is this tiny, like a mixture of liquid with like a powder on top of it that, when they mix together, there's a big chemical reaction, right? Um, who's who's attempting this? And can ev you know? Okay, two things. One, who's attempting this? Me, 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 me. There. Zozo's kind of like <laughs> still just outside the place, arms crossed, watching with curiosity, but expecting to be unimpressed. Craves mm -hmm, mm -hmm. inside. <laughs> hmm. Making sure the table's still exactly. there. Great. I'm drinking. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> Great things will happen on today's Dwarven <laughs> Festival. Uh, hold on one second, and I'm gonna bring up a thing. Here's what. Oh boy. I need a Is couple this of things. Be like a new version of a skill check challenge. It's, uh, 
it depends on how this goes, but maybe, yes. <laughs> okay. Do well, Mandy. Don't fuck up. Good. Um, I give her bardic inspiration. <laughs> uh, listeners, that's not a thing I can do. <laughs> I was not sure. I was like, maybe. <laughs> you say something confidently enough, everyone will buy your bullshit. Yeah, well, it turns out. Guy loves music. <laughs> yeah. Music, yeah, he's... Uh, maybe next level. He won't sound so jaded. Okay, cool. Uh, Jesus, God, what's the what's the Google thing called where you have files? God damn it. Google Drive. Drive. Drive? Thank you. Doc? Jeez. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I blanked. It was so simple, I had no idea what you were talking about. I blanked. So Welcome to old, Jason. You're in good company. Oh, my God. So, you could tell the, the medication I used to concentrate is wearing off now. <laughs> like, <laughs> quick, oh. before the session ends. It's a real, it's a real flowers for Algernon thing. Uh, this, it's oh, just... no. It... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> was that sad enough? Because I was going for sad. It I mean, I, it's hilarious, but also sad. Good. So uh -huh, sad. you're kind of hitting on multiple levels. Right? Good. All right. So here's okay. So what are you using? Are you are you kind of stepping up here with like a little hand axe, a bow and arrow? Like, what are you using? Um. Do they have a thing for me to use, or should I use? What um. I there's a hatchet. Like this. Yeah, snotty oh, little that. kid's got like a like a hatchet. Um. Because, yeah, she thinks, oh, this is the part of the rules of the game. They got a little thing here. I'm going to throw this, even though I have no idea how to use it. So, okay. So <laughs> right, everyone step back. <laughs> oh, my God. So here's what we're going to do. Um, <laughs> I want your finesse die, your class, and your shoot skill. Oh, All right, man. now you're going to have to get off my back before you throw this. <laughs> what? But the height? No, I know, but you, you get a lot more leverage from your own feet when you're throwing things. So, oh, fine. before no you do this, things. here's what we're going to do. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, let's share screens. Let's get this. Let's get this going. So, uh, I definitely want... Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, I'm going to roll two d8s because that's your difficulty. And that, that'll be the number you got to beat. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh, boy. Um, right. That is a nine. So you just got to beat a nine. Sure. All right. <laughs> so Cover's like, all right, I got this. And just like, cousin, cousin, watch me. Watch me. I can okay, do this. Okay. Right. And she's going to wind up and think of, you know, when we went to Dragon Con and all of us were trying to throw. Fuck them axes. axes. <laughs> and, yeah. So she's like really like concentrating just like okay i gotta go straight gotta go whoa and then she then does this little flail thing and then tries to throw it because she's like it'll add add to my skill if i like flail and dance with it i get where'd it go i just missed it you did just miss it <clears throat> oh so close so missed it this kid's gonna laugh just like <laughs> just a real dick like a like a like okay like a forced taunting laugh like he's not even like you know it, it's just it's like pff, you suck lady so, so. Like, well, well wow. i can i can do it i can do it and she's gonna run and go grab the the hatchet forgetting that oh there are there other people throwing oh, oh no, no it's just so, you gonna step up Oh. Okay. So she, she's gonna go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna go get it, and she's gonna run and go get so, it. So. And then. Um. Can I get? <laughs> Are any of your characters particularly savvy? Do you have a Do you have a D10 in savviness? Uh, D8. D8. No. Eight. Six. Uh, eight. Um. Okay. This would probably be the savvy ones. In the this park. would probably be a yeah. This would probably be a Criv roll, but Criv's not here. So go ahead, let's do it, Sozo. <clears throat> gonna take the axe. Look at Clover. You're pathetic. We need 
We need Whoa. good people on this trip. Let me show you how this is done. The kid's going to agree with Zoe. So like, yeah! Shut up. <laughs> uh, and he's going to throw the axe. Let's do it, baby. Oh, please right, miss. Please finesse whip it. Shoot. <laughs> finesse. Finesse class shoot and shoot. And class. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, and you got to beat so a nine because it's not like the thing's moving. So it's the same difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> so finesse class and shoot. So it's right on top of this fence post. Yeah. So he'll kind of like just raise it above his head, kind of like calculate the arc and look around how many people is watching. And then he'll just toss it. No no flourishes. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh, there, there it goes. It. Oh, Ooh, my nice. goodness uh, yeah, gracious. I'll take that 16. Stupid edge lord luck. <laughs> so and he'll turn around and cross his arms I'm like, too easy. <laughs> and then it blows up. So uh, do you want to take <laughs> do you want to take the 7 and 3 and leave the d10 as your effect die? Uh, yeah, we'll do that. <clears throat> yeah, because it's, it, yeah, so, so basically, you're, you're going to hit it, no matter what, but this is how, how awesome it is, right? <clears throat> like, you didn't just wing this thing, it is dead on, and for just a second, you're going to see this, um, this oily liquid uh, come out of the side of this, this, like, tube, and it is going to, after a second, mix with that powder and Boom! Big, <clears throat> uh, big, big, like, it, it, it's, a, it's a bright explosion, almost like a flashbang. And there's these bright red and yellow sparks that are gonna, that are gonna fly outward. Um, so, a couple of fun facts, right? Uh, it is a dry, dry time of year. Um, this is when we do the gender reveal part. Right? <laughs> saying, it's a boy. Boom. Uh, uh, so that's it's kind of a concern, right? But the odds are against anything really bad happening. More pressing is the fact that this fence pl a fence post is just going to split down the center and just kind of fall apart. And uh, I'd say about. 30 or 40 feet back, um, you're going to see a bunch of, uh, a bunch of horses. Oh. And, uh, I need to roll to see if they get spooked. Because there have been explosions leading up to this, and this one's a bit closer. So, um, <clears throat> uh, Criv, inside the bar, I think it's, I, uh, do me a favor. It's <laughs> only fair. <laughs> yeah, give me a D10, right? And if it's a one through three, they get spooked. Anything else, and it's fine. It's on crit. All right. I love it. <laughs> All we need is for Ryan to not roll low. Five. Hey! It's fine. It's fine. So they are going to get a little spooked and kind of whinny and, and rear up and stuff. And uh, there, there's a couple of, like, uh, there's a couple of farmhands that are going to have to, like, settle them down. And as they're, they're, they're like, trying to soothe the horse, it's, it's okay, it's okay. You fucking kid! Like, like, it, like they're they're screaming at this kid, but like trying to come. Not you, girl. Not you. Shush, shush, shush. Like it's a, you know trying to offer it a sugar cube. Um, uh, this kid is again gonna kind of like a <laughs> and kind of back up and run off, just like a real, just a just a little shit. Oh, I thought Zozo was gonna have a fanboy. That would I mean, really stroke the ego. That would be too early. Probably would have if he didn't tell him to shut up. He had a fan oh. leading into it. Like it, <laughs> it's like this. I like the cut of this guy's jib. Like he's, you know what I mean. Like he was, he was on board. He'll be back. Clover is, is like squeal. She's like heck yeah, just because you know, big boom. Her new friend just did something awesome, and so she she's gonna go up uh, and just. Be like, good job, Zozozol, and just smack him on the back, you know, friendly manner, but like, you know, being yeah, he, bigger than him. He kind of like probably wasn't. reacts to it a bit and turns around, kind of like, does a corner smile, like, <laughs> you think that explosion was impressive? 
I mean, can you do more explosions? Kind of looks around to see if Kriv is around. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll show you later. Heck yeah. And just holds up a hand for a high five. Looks away and it gives you a high five. Ah. <gasps> Softy. Best friend. And then he kind of like. Kind of just like leaves the the the, the destruction scene <clears> and <throat> goes back to the uh, the tavern. Yeah. Oh well, I have a I have a friend. Oh, I'm so happy for you. And then just uh, just lifts her arms up to be like, pick me up again, and then so we can go back. All right, here we go. And, huh, huh, uh, yeah. Okay, there you go. Let's go. So we're going to go back into this bar and Kriv sitting there probably has another drink or, or whatever Kriv is doing. Um, is Kriv much of a drinker or is this? Oh, yeah. Is this party <laughs> from his adventuring days? He's probably he's probably on his fifth drink by now. I'm just like, oh, those fuckers. Like he finished all of their drinks and then <laughs> drunk another one. Just he's not happy so with the fact that he's got to deal with all these um, special folk. Special folk. Ooh. Um, you know what? Can I... You, you carry <laughs> away special folk. <laughs> damn kids. Um, so you said five drinks. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, we haven't done this in this arc or this system yet, but I think... I, I think we need to see what your tolerance is. So Tell me what I need to roll, Jason. <clears throat> so refresh my memory. What was everyone drinking? It wasn't necessarily like super heavy stuff, right? It was more ale oh, it, like that. It was. Yeah, it was the cheap, quick stuff. Juice. Just, you know, you got barrels and barrels of it in the back. Just give me give me a couple of drinks real quick and give me a couple. OK. Months. OK. So like this is this That's is like, strong. yeah, yeah, yeah. So like two D6s like. Nothing, nothing, nothing terrible. So, up, up, uh, 2d6, and that turns out to be six. So, okay. I want you <clears throat> to take your fortitude, your class, and your indoor role. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Hey. Okay. Okay. So, you're definitely going to pass that. Um, yeah. So that you're not, you're definitely not drunk, but you're probably just a tiny bit buzzed. Like just a, just, you know what I mean? Like you're not enough. At, <laughs> <laughs> I need to roll to see if this dwarf notices this. Oh, I of need course. to, I need to see, I need to see. So <sighs> I'm going to take a D10 one through uh, one through five. He's going to notice uh, six through 10. You're just going to be able to sit there and enjoy your drink. Please let it be in peace. Ah, oh, no. So, oh, no. okay. This, uh, this guy's going to wander over to your table eventually, and you're going to see him hop off the stool. <clears throat> and his big, like, big clunky boots are just going to, boom, like, hit the ground. And uh, he's going he's gonna to wander over the table. <clears throat> and he's got a he's got like a like a like a very really big shot glass, I guess is how I would describe it. Think like an espresso size for like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. OK, so he's going to he's going to wander over and then just kind of like slap the table. You think you're impressing anybody with this drinking? Oh, far from it. Well, well I'm not drinking for any of you. <laughs> you should be. It's a dwarven holiday. Okay. So, okay, let me tell you a story. And he's going to he's going to pull a chair out and sit next to you. I I don't think he would even notice if uh -huh. you liked that or not. You know what I mean? It's not like he's yeah. not doing it for you. No, he's doing it for the story. <clears throat> like it, for it's all for his ego. Yeah. <clears throat> so, there we were. Homeless and just down on our luck. And we see this mountain. Now, you wouldn't understand this, but I mean, a really beautiful mountain. Like, it's it's gorgeous. You guys are perched 
uh, up on top of it like birds. We're in the we're in the dirt. You know, we're 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 making something out of it. You guys are just uh-huh. kind of like skipping across the mountains like stones on a lake, and you know, it, whatever. Uh huh. Uh-huh. But we oh we had to fight tooth and nail, and they didn't. I mean. Yeah, it was during a wedding or whatever. They didn't know it was coming, but man, they did put up a fight, but it wasn't enough. And every year, we have to drink as many shots as years have passed since that day. And I'm not even a quarter of the way there yet. So what number are you on? What? How how many shots have you taken? Uh, Seventeen. And wh- how many do you need? More than seventeen. The point is, I want you to drink with me. Hell, I'll even pay. Yeah, you're really twisting my arm, Jason. Um, well, let's leave it up to a die roll. Yeah. Do it. I don't know if we have money. Two. All right. Well, I guess he's doing it. <laughs> so he's going to kind of like squint at him. Like lean over the table to where he's like his snout is probably just inches away from his nose. And then let out like a big puff of air through his nostrils. Lean back to where his back straight. Bring his hand over to give a big handshake. <clears throat> and then like, yeah, and then with the other hand, grab his shot and take it. He's definitely like it's a big like ah like the, he's so so this is a competition. Oh okay well. I haven't I'm had I haven't had a drinking contest in years. No one no one wants to sit at the table with me and I'm giving you a head start. So he's going to walk over to the bar and kind of hop up on one of these stools and then ring a bell. And everyone in the bar is going to start reacting. They're like, "Oh, up oh. So this is like one of those restaurants where you go in and you order like the Widowmaker steak. And it's Uh like, well, we're going to feed you your weight and steak. And if you finish it, you know, so. Question, though, is he carrying this bell on him or is it just something that the the place has? This is. Yeah, this is like a this is like one of those like man versus food things where you go. and It's like we have the spiciest wings in Sarasota. And then, you know what I mean? Like, I thought he's just held onto this little bell. Like just for this just, moment, he just carries just the, it on. This him. is it. Yep. This it's like a it, it's 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 a signature asset for him. Like he just has it all the time. <laughs> so <laughs> the bell of infinite drinking. So here are the rules. You and I are going to drink until one of us falls down, and that person picks up the tab. Didn't you just say you would pay? For the first round. How much money do I have? I don't know. Uh, I don't think I have any money. At I least from we've discussed the really. matter of money. Yeah, you we haven't even talked about it. What? Yeah, Jason, you didn't give us money. How'd you guys roll for it at the beginning of the thing? Okay, what? It's not in my notes. It's no, oh. you did not. Mm-mm. Or you guys didn't write it down. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> we'll do it again. Oh, so it was my fault, guys. No, no, no. I ruined the whole thing. <laughs> I did it. Sorry. Okay, like, here's here's what. Yeah, okay, here's what we're gonna do. This was months ago when we did character creation. Yeah. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I want everybody here to do me a favor and. Uh, roll a d20 and a d12. And whatever you get, that's how much gold you have. 
this is not familiar at all. So I think he just yeah. You know what? Didn't give I'm famous money. for being a liar. That's what. I... <laughs> uh -huh. oh, hey. Clover. Ooh. Hell yeah. You know what? That makes the most sense. Clover's probably like she she's in a town and can do stuff. Also, they may just pay her to walk away from situations. It's like, and then oh she, I want juice. Can I have? <laughs> Yeah, it's not that expensive. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> uh, so Crib's got 15 gold. Like, as long as this doesn't get out of control, you're fine. Um, all right, so he's going to look at the barkeep. All I have is 15. I'll go up to that. Uh, the barkeep. So barkeep comes over in the apron, and he's lining up bottles. And the bottle, think hot ones, like the bottles get oh, okay. like the alcohol content gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And then the bottles stop having labels like they're more just like kind of like a almost like a like a chalky, like it's just kind of like carved in. So like it's like this isn't a manufactured thing. This isn't like, oh, it's a Boone's farm. Like it's you know what I mean? This is just like this is yeah. essentially poison. Uh, don't don't drink that. Okay, so fair, fair, fair. <laughs> don't do it so do it. here's how it's gonna work we're gonna do rounds exactly like combat because oh. cortex basically to its core has this fundamental principle so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna work on our scale from the book the lavern scale and the first person to fall over loses and picks up this tab um at this point can i can i ask that the, the team would be back uh and they would probably oh, yeah. yeah they'd probably come back in just as like these bottles are being lined up and the the bartenders like you tell them it's like oh i got 15 gold he's like well don't lose and then just kind of like finishes up <laughs> like they have like these uh special shot glasses that they it's like it's kind of like um like a little like a little uh like a um, it's carved out of bone, but it's like a little dragon claw holding a shot glass type of thing with a flat mm. bottom. It's it's very it's like oh it's kitschy but like fun, and it's like either way you get to keep the shot glass. Like the, the the bartender reassures you like it's it's cool. Maybe they can sell it back to him when I'm out of gold. But uh, if you lose, you go up on the wall of shame, and there's a bunch of like parchment sketches of people i'll who, never be uh, here again <laughs> i'm gonna i'm going on a mission where i'm gonna die it'll be fine <laughs> holy shit <laughs> crib has no confidence with this mission i think clover it comes in she she hears the bells see people are like yeah it's like oh party oh drinks juice and just grabby hands towards one of them no don't, don't touch don't don't touch uh, by the way, all your yeah. drinks are gone. Oh, but the, the juice is still there. The juice is disgusting. Oh, it's like, oh, you're not going to share? And it's like, here's that her juice is okay, and goes to get it. Here you go. I got you, cousin. Here you go. Thanks, cousin. And just like, you're welcome. Sitting there sipping and watching, just like, ooh, you, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, but it's going to be great. So here's how this is going to work. It's going to work exactly like combat. The best part is, so you're going to start out with no physical stress whatsoever. We're going to work up to the point where you're beyond a D12 in physical stress, and that is when you pass out. The good news is your opponent here is starting with a D6 in physical stress. Awesome. So awesome. you have an advantage out of the gate, and all you got to do is drink this dwarf under the table. Sounds simple. I, you know. Yeah, I'm just go. I'm mentally, I'm going back to the conversation that we had before about my luck with the last arc wasn't the best, but this is a new arc. Well, okay, you can't die. Like, no, I can't die, but I, <laughs> I can, I can lose all my gold. Yeah. Well, yes. Well, you got a sugar mama in the party anyway. Like, yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> It's she, mine. She may drop it. Who knows? I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. Drop it. What? Yeah, that's yeah. good, Ryan. That's drop good. It. <laughs> How dare you, Ryan? So, 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 so I, I feel like I'm getting hit. With... 
I was just going to say, when you guys like say that to Ryan, I feel like I'm getting hit with the splash from that. <laughs> it's, it's really uncomfortable. So Zozo will stroll in, see that there's some sort of challenge going on, and he'll find a nice spot like in the shadows a little bit, in the darkness, where it's not... Like, he's not going to... Um, uh, what do you call that? He's not going to upstage Kriv. But he's going to cross his arms, lean back, and observe and judge Kriv as a leader, depending on his success or failure. No pressure. Oh, the, the, the judgment is happening. So. <clears throat> do you want to run to the bathroom, grab a drink before this? Do you want to, like... Let's let's go straight in. Okay. Well, Crave goes <clears throat> to the bathroom real quick and then comes back. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> the question yeah. Is for Crib, yeah. You yeah. don't want to pee yourself at the table. Exactly, like that's yeah. embarrassing, right? So yeah, he okay. Like that. Um. So okay. Let's let's try a thing because like this is so. Um. In this art, in this arc, we're introducing something called conflict level. Now, this isn't a fight. Really, it's not a fight to the death, but I would still count it as like there's 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 conflict. You're you're it's a competition. So it goes from one to five, five being truly life or death. This is definitely a combat level of one or conflict level of one. Like it's that there, it's just just like embarrassment are the is the stakes and money, obviously uh-huh. money. Uh Amazon. OK, so let's see. Let me see if this actually works. So I'm going to try a thing. <laughs> Alexa, Amazon? Oh. combat mode. I wish you all the luck in the world. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's amazing! You. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, that I'm actually, that actually worked. Uh, I think the room got hotter. <laughs> so, wow. Okay, that's okay. Wow. Damn, Alexa, that. disco mode. <laughs> <laughs> I need to set that up, Jeez. I didn't even yeah, think no. about making a routine for that. I just come in and say lights on, and then it does that. I mean, yeah, dude, it's not it's not hard to set up. I'll, I'll show you real quick. It's no, super I easy. I didn't even think about it. That's I know. I th- like I'm an idiot, so I sit here and think about dumb shit like this all day. So, uh, okay, this dwarf is gonna is gonna be taking the first swing. So let's, boom, let's let's do it. Uh, so <laughs> let me let me get ready and throw out some stats to you here. Um, because you're dealing with obviously a, my pen died. Oh my God. Okay. Well, <laughs> oh my God. The stakes have never been lower, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a D10 in fortitude. Uh, he obviously he has a, he has a D8 in class and you guys are going to be using the indoor. So he's got a D10 in indoor. Of course he does. But, but he is starting with stress. Now, uh, we're going to be throwing in uh, different uh, different qualifiers based on the drink that you... So what he's going to do is uh, you guys are basically pounding the equivalent of, like, tequila right now, right? Uh, so <clears throat> probably something... Rough start. Yeah, you know, it's probably like a hard ale or rum, something like that, you know? Uh, so no modifiers or anything on that, but, uh, here, here we go. D10, D10, and a D8. Each of us are going to start with one plot point. And may the best man win. Okay. Is it comp, is it like the versus, his number versus mine? Or? Uh, it's exactly like combat. So instead of him taking swings at you, so, uh, let's see here. I'm going to take... Uh, that's seven and three. So you got to beat a 10 and the effect die is a D 10. Okay. <clears throat> so then what would count as drinking defense? <laughs> same. It's basically the same thing. You're rolling, uh, you're rolling your fortitude in class. Okay. Okay. So just those two. Mm-hmm. Hey. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first catastrophic oh. failure. Oh Ryan was so hopeful two minutes ago. <laughs> this is a new arc. My luck will change. Ryan. New arc. It's not. Damn it. <sighs> you changed names. You moved systems. You did everything you could. I. The luck, luck continues. This is amazing. Right, well, so, okay. Chris is going to die of alcohol poisoning. Um, so okay. get a new character in. Uh, uh, Jason said just a minute ago, this can't kill you. It can't kill you. Well, I already have a new character planned called Verk. It's just going to be backwards. <laughs> I'm just going to change everything in. It's Crib with the goatee. <laughs> <laughs> we, I know we just got art, but all we have to do is a little touch up. Just one addition. That's it. That's all it needs to happen. Good lord. Okay, so uh, for everybody out there, in the Cortex, when you roll a one, uh, you just toss that die out. It doesn't count for anything. You can't use it. Uh, if all your dice come up as one, it's what we in the biz call a catastrophic failure. Now, just like in D&D, &D, if you roll a one, you know, oh, there's a chance of something bad happening. If you roll all ones, there is no chance. of so It's just happening. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, you're losing that round, and that's a D10 stress die for you. So as you're pounding this back, you both pound your drink back. And he's going to, like, clank it on the, the wooden table here and just kind of, like, stare at you. And just as you're pounding this drink back, the act of you, like, like bobbing your head back and you're like, whoop, you just got real dizzy all of a sudden because the rest of that alcohol is hitting you all at once. You're like, oh, there it is. Like, so you're, you're just kind of like, mm, like, you're, you're just kind of, like, focused on him. Now, because of this catastrophic failure... As of right now, if you lose, I'm going to have you roll on the temporary madness table. Yes. Damn it. Your rebuttal, sir. <sighs> All right, so it's, I got it's, two D8s and a D6. And a plot I, point. And one plot point. Okay, so there's one in there. We got to toss that out. Of course, it was one of the D8s, so... I couldn't be a two? <laughs> really? I couldn't be a two? <sighs> so he's got to beat a seven. So... Uh, but even if he doesn't beat it, nothing happens, right? Nothing really happens, but, like, I think it would... He just like, gets a little tickle. He gets, like... Oh, get, uh, that's yeah, it's it. like, oh, oh, man, my... my it, 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 oh, wait, sorry. I one D ten and one D eight. Whoop! Here goes. That qualifies as uh, beating a seven. Just the new listeners it. don't understand my frustration. All of the people that listened to the last arc continuing, you know, and you're with me. Ryan has a penchant for. Poorly performing in luck-based activities, I'd say. <laughs> like, yep. <laughs> statistically yep. speaking, yeah. You're... I think the biggest thing that happened last time is I called this ancient sea demon creature from the rifts of hell underneath our boat. You know, I mean, that, that, just just a small, just a just a little tiny accident. I mean, everything worked out. Why okay. would you do that? <laughs> no, like, Why do you choose to, to do that? Xavier? <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Yeah, Jesus. Okay, so. Uh, okay. Oh, man, I just... Did you roll the d6 for his uh, stress die last time? Don't oh, forget yeah, to... you subtract that, right? No, 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 you just add it to your rolls. It's just another die. So... Oh, no. Yeah. Do you... I, I'll give you a chance to do it real quick. Just roll a d6. Right. Boop. Three. Dang. Uh, they, they wouldn't have changed. That wouldn't anything. change anything. Okay, so even if I got a to... six, it wouldn't have changed anything. That's not true. That would have beat. He wouldn't have beat it then, and you know, it still would. Have, he would have coughed oh, or something. Okay, true. It would have been a little embarrassing. Uh, so, okay, his roll again. Uh, that's three d tens now because of your your stress. Oh 
man, never, never battle a dwarf in a drinking contest. This is on you, honestly. Uh, I heard free drinks. I thought everything was going to be free. So this time, what he's doing, uh, we're going to simulate him reaching for a bigger bottle, right? So he's he's going for like, like Mind Scream or something like that, real orcish beverage, which is like this will put air in your chest. Like he's, you know, his his kind of his voice is a little raspy. Um, he's getting hot, so he's like unbuttoning. So he's got that Varric Deep V thing going on from Dragon Age, like you know, uh-huh. uh, big hairy dwarf chest. If you're into that. Ladies, fellas, uh, so I gotta, with, I'm guessing you're taking the eight and the six. I mean, why wouldn't I? So, you know, I mean, I, I could have hoped that, you know, a two would have been in there, but no, well, I mean, it's I still mean, it's, a D 10. I gotta go next to perfect. Yeah. You gotta be. <laughs> uh, I'm dead. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> all right well i've hit an achievement um i got a big milestone i retire today i mean that's i can't get any odds better odds of this this is amazing <laughs> guys everybody out there in vegas uh w- what's the over under on him doing this one more time everybody in the chat right now like if you uh, i mean can he pull this out oh. i don't know if you lose this Okay, do me a favor. (laughs) Give me a D6. And hold on, before you roll. (sighs) If you roll a four through six, if you lose this, I'm going to have you roll on the long-term madness table. If you roll a one through three, it's the permanent madness table. Fair, fair. So just give me a D6 well, we and roll high. Luck is. <laughs> Hi-ya! Okay. From Long my angle madness. that I have of my <laughs> dice, it looks like look another good. one. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. So wow. you're going to take... <laughs> Stakes are so low, you guys. <laughs> it's so low, but like... This is... Okay. This is stupid, but this is his first challenge as leader. But I can't. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can't back away now. I know. Oh. So like he's okay. So the, again, like you're, like you're, you're at a D twelve now. Like, th- like this, like you're, mm-hmm. you're looking, like you're holding onto the table to hold. It's like, ah, uh, you're not quitting already. We've only had two drinks. This is this is why I was retired. <laughs> uh, the tab right now is up to 30 gold. He's like, I'll tell you what. I'll spot you a shot. If you go all in on the next round and pour yourself the murderer. It's uh, it's another orcish beverage. It is almost off the scale in terms of alcoholic content. It's not even... It's... It's basically cleaning fluid. Mm. Like if Lysol bottled a beverage that you can drink and it's sitting next to Pepsi, but it still had the Lysol logo. <sighs> okay, let, let's roll an intelligence roll real quick. You got hero points, my dude. It's your hero moment. Your intelligence wouldn't be affected by your current. I mean, it may. <laughs> Do I roll a d6 and subtract that? <laughs> Ryan Senior? Uh, is there a way that I can use my plot point <clears throat> to help him in this contest at all? I mean, can you think of a way? Uh, Let's do it. Pitch me something. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, uh, I, uh, honestly, the best idea I have so far is uh, it, the bar is probably soaked in alcohol at this point, and if I can light one end on fire, we might be able to run away before we lose all our money, but that feels like a horrible idea. I don't think that so... would give him a bonus to his role. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. I mean, uh... <laughs> That will be oh, the no. moment you I kill. Combat medic doesn't work. Combat <laughs> medic 
says teammate. Specifically yeah. teammate. I can't use it on myself. <clears throat> Damn it. Mm. Um. You can use that plot point to step up any one of your die. That might be a good yeah. idea. Or double you, if you... one of your die. Mm. <clears throat> so he would be rolling with an 8, 10, 10, 12. Yeah. You would be rolling. Uh, he's got... So, okay, Two, you know what he said? Actually, hold on. He said he'd spot you. He would spot you a shot. And I would have that drive his stress up to a D8. So you'd have an extra D8 in there. Hmm. Okay, fuck it. I'm going... So three D eights then. No. No. It'd be three D eights and a three D eights and one D six. Yes. Huck them out there, baby. Uh, Come on. I get another freaking set of ones. I. I'm not even looking. Just. Ah. <clears throat> huh. yeah, they're not. They're ones. not ones. <laughs> Although the result is two oh ones. <laughs> Oh, here's the thing. I've been rolling baby. really well. Maybe I'm due for crap. <clears throat> so maybe, maybe. So I got a D8 and a D10. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Huck up, up, up. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's lifting weights while he's doing this at this point. Like, <laughs> like he's just showing off. This is mean. So that's not going to affect him at all. Uh -uh. Do you want to push it, Ryan? You can push it. <clears throat> if you push it. So in, in, in Cortex, this is how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, he just set a new difficulty. So if you can roll and beat a 17... Then the ball's back in his court, and he needs to beat it, and the stakes are higher and higher. All right, so this would be where he could use a plot point to change one of those D8s yeah, that he's rolling that's, into a D10. To it's true. It's true. Then you just roll like me. But then even at that, Ian. You can, if you, you'd have to max out. Yeah, I st it still wouldn't. Um, Unless... Unless. Unless you stepped down your class die to a D4, took the other plot point that you'd get from that, and then step up the two remaining D8s to D10s. It's a risky... That's a big break. It's a it. risky gambit. If you push it and fail, you're, you basically, like, you're, you're setting yourself up to, like, you're, you're dazed. <clears throat> Hmm. What's the coin count up to now? Uh, well, the murderer is very, very expensive. Uh, it takes years to brew, so we're up to it about. Does. It takes a, it, We're up to about like sixty-seven gold. All right, that's the party's gold. Yeah. All right, well, I can now include myself in the group of special dragonborn. Um, <laughs> welcome. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Get your seat warm. I like that. Okay, the entire time this is happening, Zozo's in the corner, like, fucking Strider, just, like, eyeballing, yeah. uh, the, you know? Oh, calling just... me names under his breath, I'm sure. <clears throat> fucking lightweight. Not impressed. So, do you want to, do you want to go for that? No. No. Okay. He still hasn't polished you off yet. If you just say, hey, I'm going to take the L yeah, on that one. I, okay. I think <clears throat> he's going to hold up his, like, he's going to take the shot, put it down, and kind of, like, hold up one hand, and mm -hmm. then kind of hold the other hand over to shake. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I can't do any more. You win.
And I know he's going to ridicule me, but. Oh, yeah, but that's not that wasn't up for question. Like, so, OK. You got to imagine all these people in the bar are like cheering. It's like, yeah. So there's money changing hands in the background because they're like, no, no, no. He can come back from this. Stupid. Well, OK. Betting on him. You're, Especially after you're, that first shot. Yeah, well, okay. It, like, there's some people. It's like, no, nah, no, nah, he's playing a long game. He's trying to grift him. Like, you're, you're, like, you're, you're pulling him in. It's like, look at him. He's a huge dragonborn. He could beat that little dwarf. Like, there's some people who are like, if you think about the scene from their point of view, they don't know that you're rolling That's ones. Not Chris' fault. That, yeah, they're, they're look. It's so like, you got, you got people who are, who are like cheering you on. Like, come on, come on, come on. And then if you say, I'm done. You're going to hear a lot of disappointed people and <clears throat> they're, they're just like, no, you know, that, that, cause they're yeah. going to lose money. Um, and the dwarf is like, oh, come on. That's not how you end a drinking game here. I'll take two more shots. One more round. He's going to take all of his... Hear in the back. You can hear Zozo's voice, like, very low. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Distinctly, oh. through the crowd. Yes. There's, hear. like, a little lull where, oh, like, people can, no. like, stop talking at the same time. Just like, oh, this is embarrassing. And they meet <laughs> eyes at that second. Um, <laughs> Kriv's going to stand up. Put down his entire satchel of gold. Um, and four of the five potions and walk back to the table. Wait, walk back to what table? The table that we were at, like, originally, before we moved oh, to the bar. Oh, okay, so you're just, you're just yep. tapping out. Like, you're just, yep. okay. So you're going to hear a lot of disappointed people and just like, ah, oh, and then they, you know, and the, the bartender's like, all right, that's enough, people, that's enough. And it, um, this, this dwarf is going to, kind of jump up into his chair and just like yeah like an are you not entertained kind of thing so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's a big day like it's like yay it's it's it this is like this is like an irish person winning a drinking game on saint patrick's day like it's it's like yay you know what i mean like it's 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 a huge like it's a cinderella story how does the party greet criv oh please, please don't throw up on me Oh, he's a, he's like started to hurl a couple times. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go and get you some pretzels. We gotta we gotta soak that up. Um, I hope they have pretzels. Uh, we'll see what they got. And he's gonna run to the bar and find out what kind of carbs they've got to soak up some of this with. Pretzels, peanuts, uh, chunks of bread. Yeah, they absolutely have that. Uh, they have that stuff, and they also make a mean cheese stick. Like they have like. Uh, what it is is uh, like um, they call them bread ribs. So <clears throat> uh, it's these big puffy uh, conjoined, almost like hot dog buns. And they are both stuffed with cheese. And then there's like there's uh, six cheeses browned on top with flecks of meat in it. Usually like uh, like a crispy ham or bacon, something like that. OK, so that's fascinating. And what he's going to say to the bartender is. All right, now, in your expert opinion, what of these foodstuffs is least likely to get your bar thrown up in a lot by a, a dragonborn that just had a lot to drink? Like, a lot. Because someone's going to have to clean that up, and it's probably <clears> not <throat> us. Because um, we will, we will we'll just go. <clears throat> he's going he's gonna to say, look, I'll put an order of bread rins in for free just because he oh, tried. He's okay. having a hard time. Uh, yeah. it looked like he really rolled a lot of ones out there. So, like, I'm I'm gonna, uh, and then that's that's how we say it. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's and like here's... he rolled on the long term. Yeah. <laughs> your friend, just keep an eye on your friend. He looks real like so. Um, he's going to hand you a bucket, and he's like, "But you are responsible for your friend." And he's gonna like, mm, like he's gonna hand you that bucket. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Oh, come on! Oh, oh, damn it! Yeah, yeah. So you got an order of bread ribs coming. All right. And I'll, he carries the bucket back over and it says, all right, Kriv, uh, this is your new best friend. You just keep this right in your lap. Uh, 
the, no, up, you have it upside down, flip it over. Okay, there you go. That's right side up. You just keep it right like that. And uh, if this this isn't your first rodeo, you know what to do. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I've got I've got some carbs coming though, but because but we're gonna try and soak some of that up and ease the pain a little bit for you. All he does is give you a thumbs up, and he scoots to like the back edge of the stool that he's sitting at. Takes the bucket, puts it in his lap, puts his entire head into the bucket, leans over a little bit where his head's on the wall, and then just wraps his arm around the bucket and just stays there. And every now and then you may hear a... That's how he is for the next foreseeable future. And Clover's like, can I have your, your cool glass that you got? Because they got a shot glass, right? Oh, right. Uh, He's like, and she's like, thank you. Uh, and it's like, green is a good color in you. And just is fiddling with her shot glass. And she's pouring juice in it and, and pretending she's being like what they were doing. It's like, look at me. I can do it. Yeah, look at me. Okay, a couple things. Uh, one, uh, Alexa, exit combat mode. So... Uh, the uh the the worst is past here um we will have to have you roll on that long-term madness table uh but we're also going to give you a uh d10 complication complications in cortex are basically uh things that count against you uh and this d10 complication is called absolutely hammered so uh until you sober up you're you're going to have that complication. It'll step down over time and then just okay. disappear. Okay. So as long as you don't get into combat or try to do anything like, you know, like, oh, I mean, Griff's not trying to move right now. <laughs> um, he's as he's essentially hugging this bucket and, and not doing anything. <clears throat> the only thing to I'm going to draw from the ATM complication. <laughs> <Can't do it. laughs> the only thing I'm going to have you do is let's see if you can hold this liquor down now everybody out there uh everybody out there in the chat everybody listening while uh, at school on the jog on the bus whatever you're doing um i want you to think of a number that ryan should roll and i want you to put that out there in the universe i want you yes that's it Give, lend him your energy in the chat right now, uh, because the difficulty is two D10s. So all you got to do is beat whatever this is. So hold on. Two D10s. We're rolling. We're rolling. And it is a 13. Lucky number 13. So Ryan's got to roll a 14 or higher. And you're going to take your class and your fortitude. You also have a D10 complication. Forgot about that. That's true. <clears throat> uh so no 13 ah, 13 is the highest there okay. so uh so this is this, this so everybody in the chat right now root root for ryan give give him all your energy ryan give me your fortitude in class give it to me give it to me give it to me not looking not looking hey one of them was the max you can get did I roll another one? I just... <laughs> <laughs> I think of it this way. You're getting all your ones out of the way at the beginning of the campaign. Uh, but you will absolutely lose your cookies at this table. So, like... That may help in, a, like, overnight, though. So I don't, I don't know about you in real life, but I am a loud thrower-upper. Like I, I dragon shout at porcelain. Uh, like I mean, that, I, you yeah, too, that's... Xavier. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah. All the all the the veins under my eyeball is just like. Fuck. Oh God! Really? Yeah, Whoa! Just like that's, everything tenses. That's crazy. Like I, am I the oh. dragonborn. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. So imagine you sticking your snoot into this bucket and <laughs> like j just mm -hmm. big, big loud noises. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh god, yeah! I'm gonna hear another s couple laughs. Absolutely, yeah, especially like, from the 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 guy, the dwarven guy. But like, you had the balls to 
do that. So like he's going to be like he'll bust your balls but like now it's over. Like whatever beef, yeah. it's like whatever. That guy's fine. Like he's you know, so uh it, th there'll be some comment about like ah Dragonborn is supposed to be so tough. That's supposed to be the peak performance blah blah blah. So he's just going to do all that, but like no one's going to come and harass you. You're in enough pain already. <sighs> Uh, Zozo will look at Clover and Olmo. How are you two not dead from secondhand embarrassment right now? <laughs> uh. No, uh, uh, well, here's the thing. Um, a couple things. One, uh, uh, you don't, might not know this about me, but I used to travel around with Bottomless Joy and, uh, uh, there's a lot of opportunity to watch people be like really drunk in those scenarios. Uh, I've way worse than this. Uh, and, uh, uh, so that was one. And the other thing is, uh, I already had all the embarrassment I'm ever going to have in my life when I first saw bottomless joy and was really excited. And they kept trying to say, calm down, calm down. And I was, I couldn't, and, uh, and, uh, so I figure once I got over that, getting over Criff, uh, losing a freaking contest pretty bad, it's, you can only have so much embarrassment in your life before it's like, okay, here we go again. That's, that's how I see it. And Clover is mostly just being like, oh, poor person that I just met, but that is my new friend and going pat, pat, pat. And also like staring is like, I didn't know our skills could turn that color. What happens if I take one? And going, bouncing between those two feelings. Like, can I pluck a scale from us? Is that how it works? No. But also, oh. We I are also know. on the <laughs> side that's fused together, too. Yeah. Oh, I'm just like, pet, pet, pet. And also, oh, then also like, that's cool. That feels neat. Pet, pet, pet. She's I'm a punching helping. Bag. <clears throat> you're no this this is a bonding moment you're gonna look back on this fondly one day <laughs> so this is the worst moment of my life <laughs> <laughs> that's your leader that's the... uh -huh. you're young uh -huh. <laughs> so i would imagine you guys aren't hitting the road then you're gonna probably settle down for the evening yeah i mean we wanted to go well, crave originally wanted to go hit like a library or something but uh that ain't you want to still do that we can do it like we can i don't know how no, much you I, don't, I don't think no, he'll be we're able gonna to go read. sleep in the dark alley <laughs> I'm your not, faces so those just gonna yeah, drop crib gonna somewhere check. else and then keep walking uh, we're not gonna check uh, in an hotel after tonight we're oh oh, oh, oh wait hiding hey cousin I, I i hate to impose but do you have a where do, is there a place, do you have a place we could crash at tonight or something? Where does Clover stay? You know what? I was going to have you roll for this because, one, you're a very friendly person and I imagine you like to help. Yes. Two, please don't take this the wrong way. Your type of chipper could become incredibly annoying to some. <gasps> what? And you're clumsy. So, like, I think there's a 50 50 chance that you are either staying in someone's guest house or you're sleeping in a barn and i'm not sure what it is so i need you to roll a d10 one through five it's barn uh six through ten and there's a little guest house you've been staying at a barn would be okay. fitting how, how dare you talk about my cousin like that? it's gonna be in the barn where we destroyed the fence that's what's gonna happen and we're not gonna be allowed to stay there. <laughs> that's really good hey it's barn Bar. But it's a nice bar. Like it, that they pitched it to you is like, oh, th like there's a guest house, and they're like, ah, you don't want to stay there. there. There's this barn. It's a wonderful barn. You're gonna love it. It's got fresh hay, and it's away from all of our fine china. It's great. You're gonna so love it. The fact it. that they have a guest house, yes, and just casually redirected you <laughs> the other way. But I feel like cool. I feel like Clover's like positive enough that like yeah yeah like it just yeah. kind of like seeing. Oh, yeah. As as she's like, oh, so, sure, we can go. And just leading them and chitter chatting like this. My place is great. I have so much room. <laughs> hey, it's really comfy. Did you know that? And it's like, I'm, I, 
and I've learned how to braid it and it gets into this really cool, I have this cool little corner all for myself and I've made little dolls just to, so I can talk to them in the morning when I do my daily affirmations. And uh, so real quick, you are rooming with a goat named Roger. And I love Roger. And yes, Roger is my new friend, but not as good a friend as you guys, of course. Cousin, you're my best friend, of course, but Roger, Roger was there for me. So Kriv, Kriv walks in, takes the bucket and kind of puts it down over the straw and sure. kind of like sizes it up, moves the bucket, takes out enough straw for the bucket to fit into, and then lays down on his stomach with his stew still in the bucket. And then just lives there. The last thing you hear from him is, uh, uh, and that's it. And as Chris Silence. passes out, Roger is going to text. walk over. No, no, no. Roger's going to walk over and just kind of nibble at the straw that you're sleeping on, but like right next to your ear, just kind of because like. Wake it's up in the morning now. and we're cuddling. So that's maybe it's gonna happen. To, cl to close out today's episode, what I'd like to do is this, Ryan. Uh -huh. Other Ryan. I think it's time to roll for thing. some madness. So, um, let's see how long this is going to be impacting you first. Uh, it's long term, so give me a D10, and we're going to multiply that by three. So now is when I want the one. Yes. Just throwing that Roll out that there. one, baby. Come Roll on, that universe. One. You hear me. <laughs> one. My worry is that it does and doesn't care. Six. <sighs> All right. So that's an 18. So for 18 so, years. No, no, no. 18 days. Oh, okay. 18 days. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> everybody out there, uh, in the Adventurer's Guide uh, to Theria, uh, Volume 1, we uh, have included many, many tables. You can find it on Amazon. It's super cheap, hard, hard cover, uh, beautiful, 400 pages. Um, and we have madness tables. Uh, Ryan, can I get a D100 from you, please? How do you do a D100 out here? Uh, Is it a D10 and It's the, and it's the, the double one? zeros. It's the Two double zeros. double zeros or? No, next to the D10, there's two zeros. Yeah, is it just that? Yeah. Oh, there you go. 58. Pretty middle of the road. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna sit up. Uh and it's 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 dawn. And like you're you're kind of like you're you're shifting around in this pile of straw and you're just you're like bleary eyed looking around. It's like So you slept for fourteen hours. It is now the twenty ninth. Okay. But you're up at dawn. That's a that's a plus. And you're you're kind of like stretching, your head aches. We're gonna take away that D ten complication. You're sober now. It's it's a new hell, but like you're you're sober. And you're kind of like, kind of like, like, you know, kind of like scratching your ears and just kind of like, like an, and you're going to notice that, um, usually when you like, kind of like rub your ears, like you, you, you kind of stop up your hearing for a second and you didn't notice that this time, but then you're going to look around and see that this goat is like, bah, bah, like making goat sounds and you don't, you don't hear that. Um, and that's because for the next 18 days, you are deaf. And my luck continues, folks. Wow. So we're going to have to figure something out. <laughs> I wake <laughs> up at boys. dawn and can't hear anything. And I think that's a good time for us to stop for the evening. So next time we sit down, we'll get you guys on the road. And, uh... <laughs> Woo! <laughs> wow. Say what? 
Well, I got a shot glass. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be great. Gonna have sure, a, you got a cool a shot glass. That. And a bucket. That's pretty great. <laughs> and a bucket. I do. We get to and keep a bucket. The bucket? <laughs> that oh, bucket hey, is my friend. I don't think he wants it back after what you did to it. Mm. Like, it's it's yeah. it's full of cheese ribs. I only like slept it's with it, it to Roger. in it. That's Roger can have the bucket. <gasps> Roger? No, we we're taking Roger? the bucket. It's up to you. <gasps> Roger and I cuddled overnight, so... Uh, so don't go anywhere, everybody out there. We'll be right back, and we're going to answer some questions and decompress mm -hmm. a little bit. Uh, but uh, there's a quick word from our sponsor. Hi, Steph. Shave your balls. Shave your balls. <laughs> More importantly, let them know I told you. Uh, you guys, you guys want to answer some questions? Sure. Sure. Oh, yeah. uh, first one is from Mister Person. Uh, over on our Discord server. Um, and again, if you guys have questions for any of the groups, you can email them to me, you can DM me, you can whatever. We're trying to get a nice re you know, repository of questions. I've been now in the chat. <clears throat> oh, yeah. yeah. I, Wait, you yeah. won't Good see one. it. I'm not answering you that. You see it, Jason. You'll never see <clears throat> it. <laughs> I might see it. Well, well I'm, not, I'm not live at the time, so I might see it. Mm. Oh, that's I was true. actually... That was the most active I've ever been in a chat was last week because That's I was right. able to actually focus. Is neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fun. That's cool. Uh, my question for another boss fight. My question for Packbound is what's your favorite dragon type? Uh, I know it's kind of basic, but it seems appropriate. Ooh. I don't know talking, if it has to be Therian. Like I think, like yeah, whatever. Talking yeah. D &D, talking like real life. Yeah. Uh, Do you guys have a favorite? Dragons? Yeah. What? <laughs> Like my favorite dragon is heroin. No. <laughs> um, I guess no, no. like the chromatic or 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 whatever the uh, metallic mm -hmm. dragons. Mm -hmm. Like if mm. we go by that basis, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Copper dragons. <laughs> I always thought they were cool, mm. just because it's one of the like more common metals. It's like it's not as dignified as the gold or. It's just, it feels like a, a down to earth. Uh, a uh, dragon you could have a beer blue, with. Blue collar, yeah. A blue exactly. collar dragon. <laughs> it's a real blue collar alloy, uh, that copper dragon. I can really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what their, their, their dragon breath is, but it doesn't matter. It's just, I think it's cool. Copper's cool. Nice. It's a uh, whiskey. Uh, nice. Is it, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't, I always thought that, okay, hot take. I. I always thought the metallic dragons were silly. I'm sorry. How like dare I know I'm you. not. Yeah, we know. I'm I'm not a real DM. I know. Uh, um, <laughs> I, I just I I always thought it's like, but you're made of metal. Well, aren't dragons cool enough? Jesus, like it's. I don't know. I just I maybe I'm boring. You are boring. I mean, it's really just a shiny color scheme, but you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's like a like a rare. Like you opened like you opened a pack of yeah. magic cards, and it's like, oh, I got that. You yeah. know, yeah, okay. I can get behind that if they're foiled. Yeah. Then yeah, like yeah, throw the master ball at the at the shiny. Yeah, yes, totally. Exactly. Okay, then never mind. I'm back on board. I'm back. All right. Back in two E. That's how they thought it that way. But yeah, no, oh, yeah, that's how they distinguish between the good aligned and the evil aligned. The the metal ones were the good ones, and then the chromatic were the evil. Yeah. So they got. That feels have... like racial profiling. It is, I just, but I don't know. know. It is D &D. I just. I... <laughs> Oh, it's okay. He's one of the good ones. Like okay. it's, it's like ah, I don't know. Okay. Xavier's got a point. I mean, they're changing it slowly. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I, okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm one of those guys that didn't have a big problem with orcs and stuff because I didn't see them as like inherently evil. But I know that's how they're written in the books and all that. There's a whole lot of stuff you got to unpack. But <laughs> yeah, a lot of literature written by yeah. Uh, d d d drow are harder to defend. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> a little harder. Um, <laughs> just a smidge. So, any more hot takes on dragons? Just any... Uh, well, the, the question we were asked was if we had a favorite one. Yeah. And um, uh, when I was younger, there were two... There were only so many dragons that were prevalent in, uh, in young people's culture. There was Pete's dragon, who was imaginary. It didn't count. And uh, then there was... Uh, After all these years... Was was her all along? Oh, oh no, he started. He started gone. thinking about Angelina Jolie. Secret. He had to go. It was too much. Guys, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, and then like he took off. Like I get it. Like, oh. Guys, sexiest dragon. Let's go. Uh, let <laughs> <laughs> I 
and me. I mean, we just tackled <laughs> it. It's the Angelina Jolie one. <laughs> yeah, that's not really yeah, fair. Uh, and there we go. Hi, We're back. Hi. Back. You said the cursed words and. You did. I don't know. I, I don't know so. what she did, but she cursed her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so I, I guess that was just it. Uh, my my uh, favorite dragon uh, by taking the long way around. Is <laughs> so, if we're going my staying in the D and D realm, the blue dragons have always yeah. been my favorite because something about being able to spit lightning. Pretty cool. Uh, I've, mm. I've always pretty just badass. Been a fan of that. If we're going outside of D and D, Rayquaza, Pokemon. What? Mm. Oh, the big legendary green dragon. I don't. I don't know that Pokemon. I'm. I, if it's not part of the 150 uh, one in the beginning, I just don't. I ca- I. I stop keeping up with the kids, and I don't know what's hip anymore. I'm sorry. It's it's three eighty four. Rapunzel, you said three eighty four. Okay, so what is that? Uh. Was that silver and gold? No, 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 no. Gen, it's got to be like Gen three, right? They didn't add a, another fucking two hundred. <laughs> like, there's no way they added them that fast. Someone in chat. Yeah, someone Correct in though. chat knows. Absolutely knows. It's like, oh, actually, according to the European Pokedex, like someone's fucking schooling you right now. You really rolled a one Ruby on that and one, Sapphire, Ryan. which I believe is Gen three. Okay, so Ruby and Sapphire. There you go. That was a Game Boy Advanced version then. Okay. Mm-hmm. Rayquaza looks like a caterpillar that just kind of like shut up, Ryan. I can be better. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's like, you can't fuck that caterpillar. <laughs> no, Whatever. that caterpillar wasn't Whoa. a Tomb Raider. Like you know, it's just real, like real judgy. Uh, Mandy, hottest dragon, go. Well, uh. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't go hottest. But are there any hot dragons I can think of? Raise Velger. Is that a Dark Souls dragon? No, it was Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, oh, like, oh, my God. Elle's so El's mad at me for not knowing that. There's a... Mm, there's a you're going to meet a, a cooler dragon. So, yeah, okay. So if I'm going outside of D&D, there's a really cool dragon in the latest expansion. Wins. Also has a name from a... An 11 dragon that is also adorable. Well, not really adorable because it tries to eat you, but, you know, I love it. And D&D dragon always loves silver dragons. So screw you, Jason. I, <laughs> this is just my personal, like, I I think it's <laughs> dumb. <laughs> They'd be really heavy. Are they, Should like, cool are they metal. just coated oh. in metal? If so, that seems stiff. Are they made of that metal all the way through? Because they're just heavy. Like, I don't know. Like, I know it's magic and they're dragons, but, like, fuck that. Like, <laughs> Don't talk about their weight like that. How dare you? You're right. You know what? It, it just because they don't fit my Eurocentric versions of Dragon Beauty doesn't mean. You know what? The problem is I started with Angelina Jolie, and now we're at the like it's you, you can't move up to a bronze dragon. Then it's just I don't know. Uh, how about another question <laughs> that we can absolutely <laughs> mangle? Did you answer Xavier? Yeah, I said copper dragon. Oh, I mean, if we're going to go yeah. Dark Souls, I'm going to say the everlasting the Dark Souls dragon. who get their mortality from their scales. That's pretty cool. Oh. Neither alive or dead. Oh. Just everlasting. Mm. That's pretty cool. That is pretty They're cool. They're kind of fuzzy, yeah. kind of furry, too. That's cool. pretty cool. <gasps> fuzzy. <laughs> I like fuzzy. Undead dragons. <laughs> okay. This is an interesting question. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Everybody in the call, <clears throat> and I know what's coming after this, but okay. Everybody in the call has to pick their favorite fictional thing. Uh, franchise, we're not rating it, we're not doing anything, but there is an addendum to this. So just your favorite, like your, your favorite, like video game, universe, whatever. Okay. 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 Yeah. Now, one by one, I'd like us all to to say that. I don't even know what mine would be. Can't say ours. That seems... Uh, um, it's, it's just Star Wars. Ah. Here's the thing. In recent years, Star Wars has tested me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I haven't watched the TV shows, and I should have, because I went to the theater and saw those and everything except 
Rogue One and uh, the first, the the, the first the, the episode nine was pretty good, but, uh, or seven 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 was good. Anyway, um, seven. let's say Star Wars. Fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> uh, Xavier, what's yours? Say the line, Xavier. <laughs> <laughs> Is it it's Dark Souls? Dark Souls. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Senior, what's yours? Uh, it's always been the comic books. Uh, <clears throat> Captain America, Spider Man. Okay, Marvel I was about to say we're gonna have to narrow it down a little bit. That's a. That's a. That's just yeah. Yeah. Uh, mine's always been books. Well, like, when, you gotta when, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like <laughs> things on paper. Uh, newspaper, uh, coffee shop menu. Whatever. Toilet paper. Uh, yeah. Other Ryan. Bad luck, I've Ryan. I've always been a big fan of the Pokemon universe. Okay. And so, yeah, I'd probably pick that. Uh, Mandy, you? Nanoha. I, what? It's an enemy. Oh. Gesundheit. Uh, so... <laughs> 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 I don't... How dare you? Now... This isn't so much a question, but a request. Mm -hmm. In your browsers right now, type in the name of the thing that you just said, and then porn right after it. Oh, what? And no, how... I can't do that. There's... <laughs> you know why? <laughs> Nanoha is already a little uh -oh. too lolly. Oh, ah, so shit. The yep, porn you're right. is you're right. not good. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're right. Okay, that's fine. Don't do that. Anime's tricky. I can, okay. Yeah. And Let me do Final Fantasy fourteen. Let's do that. <laughs> okay. Let's I, do I know that. for a fact there's plenty of that. Uh, so oh, yeah. now uh, you guys can play along at home if you'd like. Uh, but d d without being lewd, what is your first impression? Um, we'll start with Xavier. Google's telling me some results may be explicit. I gotta click update safe search settings. Explicit <laughs> results, results filter on back. Results for Dark Souls porn are hidden by safe search. I just undid that. And it's so, really trying to protect so you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Dark Souls of porn. It just makes it harder to find. I gotta make sure right, that I'm it. off I'm my work VPN before incognito. I do this. I'm just gonna do it in my own. Oh wow, that's Dark Souls porn. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, it's turned on too. I'm such a <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ryan Senior, what okay. about you? We'll come back to Xavier. Oh, Ryan Senior's dead. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, he didn't have his. Uh... He's no. like, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> uh, bad luck, Ryan. What? What, what do you? What, what's? What you got? Well, I'm trying. I'm making sure that I'm off my work VPN before they get flagged. That's by smart. Am I on my work VPN? No, I'm not. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making sure that I'm oh, off shit. of that. I don't want a so letter from our IT for, supervisor. Like, um, so the goal of Ryan, this person was to, to get talk. you all fired. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <guess> Congratulations. <laughs> I work in I'm animation. It doesn't affect me. I'm you have some odd thoughts up. about Butterfree, and we need to <laughs> talk about this. So what are we looking for? Like the Google Not, image just, splash page? Yeah, or yeah, like, yeah. Just the Google image splash page and just like first thoughts. Like just, it's like, mm, you don't have to describe anything. Just like, huh. There's a lot. <laughs> That's Okay, I found it. Found it. Uh, this is from Duncan299, by the way. Thank if... you, Duncan. Thank you, yeah, Duncan. thank you, Duncan. This is well, fun. most of these I've seen things. already, so. Okay. We're no strangers to the internet, but, like, you know. Okay, so what? <laughs> Boy, I just keep staring at it. What are we, what are we rating it on? What's the. Well, what's I mean, the you don't have to here? rate it. You don't have to. I, I, it's just basically, it's like, okay, what you're doing is you're shepherding the blind so that somebody doesn't have to do this. Basically, you described it's like okay, guys. Here's my first impressions. Like it's a, it's a, like it's a dining experience. It's like you know what, uh, three stars. Like I don't know, whatever, whatever. It's like guys, it's a lot of a lot of tentacles or a lot of you know, it's a lot of ass, a lot of big asses, mostly ass. Huh. Yeah, 
Mostly ass. Oh. Somehow. Okay. okay. That is not what I pictured for Dark Souls. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, see, like D H I C C characters in there. Like uh, main main oh you yeah. Your, your, you got your fire keepers. Fire keepers are your main protagonist. You know, in okay. the Dark Souls porn. Um, but yeah, mostly ass focused. <coughs> um, Mandy, you. So, uh, my first impression is a lot of people want to boink Yishtola, so big sense, because cat girl. Um, ah. Also, uh, lots of, yeah, porn with the cat girls, the uh, dragon girls, the uh, bunny girls. And there's one really interesting picture that's boring, but I'm like, ooh, that's pretty. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hell yeah, two ladies going at it, but also very nice art, like it. Oh yeah, I mean the I mean if you're gonna if you're gonna do it, do it right, right? You know mm, exactly. Uh, Ryan Senior, before you before you disappear again. Yeah, no. Uh, I apparently even looking this up caused my entire computer to say we're not doing anything. Um, <laughs> that's fair. That, yeah, that's that's yeah. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, that's, it has. That's opinions. the only victory tonight. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, uh, I uh, the the overall impression is. Uh, uh, not only extremely well done, but the variety of styles at uh, varying degrees of professionalism. It's it's just it's some looked like actors, uh, some were just flat out art, and uh, uh, all of it's uncomfortable. Um, Is this gonna get us, get us banned? Probably. Are we getting banned on Twitch? Yeah, I don't, I don't think so because we're not showing anything and we're not describing yeah. anything lewdly. It's more just yeah. like so. Actually, you but, know what? I so I didn't. Do the first, thing. as you were finishing your description, I wanted to say ditto. Yeah, but that's a Pokemon, and I I don't <laughs> uh, ditto well, porn. The the important <laughs> thing is, I think we can talk about this as long as we're in like a like a spa or a bathtub or a pool, and there's one just outside a camera that you can't see. So now we can talk about it all we want. You know what, you though? So there's so many different sites that I'm on page nine of Google, and it finally started to run out of different pages. <laughs> wow. So, okay, uh, I did the thing, too, because I realized, well, this isn't fair. That's a, So <clears throat> first impressions, firstly, uh, a lot of a lot of Asaka, a lot of that, that, that character that uh, Rosario Dawson is, is playing, a lot of, lot of that. Uh, also, my first thought was, that's not where a lightsaber goes. And <laughs> Ow. <sighs> Those things are not uh, for, their, for her pleasure. They're mm. pokey. In, in, in fairness, it was a Sith Lord. I don't think it was about the pleasure. Oh, got it. Well, I'm... Mm. I'm... Hmm. Okay, so you know how when you turn on a lightsaber, it makes that humming noise? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So obviously the one end is super horrible, right? Yeah. But totally. maybe that humming noise is because like the whole thing is kind of got some kind of. Uh, I, am I spelling out like every thought about this? Yeah. No. Is... No. Yeah. No. 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 I get you. I get where you're going. Okay. See, though, I think that would be. I think it'd be a lot of wear, wear and tear Light on a Jedi's saber, wrist, right? Dildo. They should do a fiber <laughs> sword. Because that actually vibrates. Light dildo on Etsy. Let me go check that out. Ah, wasn't that on Drawn oh, Together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I was on Drawn Together. Probably. They're they're not good. Guys, no, uh, keep looking. No, yeah, okay. No, guys, uh, let's end this before we do get banned <laughs> on Twitch. Thank you, everybody out there, for uh, for sticking with us. Uh, I will turn things over now to Ryan Sr., who is going to take us out. Ryan, take us away. Thank you, everybody, for coming and viewing and or listening to us. We were absolutely thrilled to have you here, and we would like to remind you that you can see us every Saturday on Twitch at uh, 6 o'clock Central. And uh, the uh, podcast itself will be released the, uh, right the following day. Mm -hmm. Given the time zones that matter. I was about to say, you're just whipping out a Central? Like, what the oh, fuck? Yeah. I God. forget Central exists. Chicago time! flyover country is what that is that's <sighs> just like your pizza we skip over it oh i'm just waiting for the day for someone to start listing out all the times 
going down a spreadsheet. So this GMT, GMT minus one, GMT minus two. <laughs> Just start going. <laughs> So yeah, seven o'clock Eastern for those of you that uh, live over that <clears> way, and uh, uh, four o'clock Pacific for those of you who live over that way. Eastern's where it's at. West Coast, best coast. I don't know. You have that whatever murder night. We don't have to worry about that. That's not here. That that's, was no. That's not West that's Coast. That was that was Beast Coast, baby. That was that. Yeah. That was what I left behind. That. Yeah, the place that he's making fun of is a place that he says he likes the pizza of, so I don't know. Oh. No, no. I mean, the pizza never vandalized my car. <laughs> I, you know what? I actually don't believe that based on the descriptions of vomiting. <laughs> that was good. Uh, that was really good. I think that is a perfect place to leave it. Hi, and welcome to Dungeons & Randomness, the stream and podcast which is the best place to see Dungeons & Randomness. Yeah. Uh, since you're already here, why don't you go a little bit further and check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash dandr, or if that's a little forward for you, and I heard you're into that, but let's move on. You could also check out our website. Uh, which I thought I had in front of me, but I don't. So I'm going to back up a little bit and start right over. Thanks. I love you. It's so weird. You should have just kept going. You know Jason's that not going to edit. He's going to roll with it. That's fine. It, well, now i got all of you guys in here, and I'm less alone. So thank you for joining me on this ride together. Um, <clears throat> all right. Uh... Here's the thing, if I get stuck, I just go bigger and stupider. Let's go. Uh, <clears throat> that's that's the that's the motto of the podcast, honestly. That's our tagline. Outstanding. <laughs> bigger and stupider. <laughs> <laughs> Hard five, baby. <laughs>